Well, my maiden of this BD5 by Julius Pedona, um, my second scratch built foamy, didn't go quite to plan. Um, I had to take off on this short bit of concrete because the grass was too long due to the sheep being moved off the runway. Um, she took off a little twitch as you can see but she flew around nicely for about four or five minutes and then I slowed her down too much and well, she went into a spiral dive as you can see here and sadly she hit that ground at a right hard rate of knots. Um, totally demolished the fuselage but the main wing and the tailplane actually were pretty much okay. So I chucked it in the back of my shed and then I decided no sorry I got the plans back out and knocked up another fuzz out of a sheet of foam board and this was its second maiden if you like um, the other day at the beach <clears throat> and boy was I nervous. So here she goes and she lifts off and she's dead straight this time. Um, in fact she she didn't need any trimming um, she just flew pretty much hands off really I have got a flight controller in there the sparrows um, and I did have it on right from the outset but um, having said that she you know she behaved very well she's relatively quiet and it seemed to have a fair bit of get up and go even though I discovered later that I'd got the prop on the wrong way around so I just buzzed her around for a little while. Um, I was a little bit frightened as she was turning over the sea because that's the last place you want to dunk a plane. Um, but there were no signs of any problems this time. Having said that, I did keep the RPM up considerably more than I did the first time. Um, It'd be interesting to know at what point you'd stall though, so maybe when I can find some nice long grass somewhere I'll experiment perhaps. <clears throat> it's nice to know that, uh, well, where these points are so that you can stay well away from them. Um, my theory is this time that if it goes into a stall again, I'm just going to give it full throttle and yank the rudder one way or the other and just see what happens. Which is all rolling well and good, but um, if they're near the ground, it's very difficult to think that quick and that's what happened the first time. So here we do a nice low pass. And you can see that she's a pretty thing considering she's just made out of two sheets of 5mm foam board and a lot of hot glue. And she's remarkably strong. But she's heavy. She weighs in, I think I remember about two quick, and a half kilos I think um, anyway here she comes down here for the landing and I back off and she slows down a fair bit and I'm concerned that she's she's possibly going to drop a wing so at the last minute I think I remember I, mean, I thought it was going to hit the ground so I gave it a little bit of elevator and she shot back up again so I decided to uh, give her some throttle and land a little bit further down the beach which I couldn't see too well so hence the rather bumpy landing but the old bicycle spoke undercarriage stayed oh. up in one piece this time that's the, almost the bounce that it was There's water down there, so I was a bit concerned that I might dunk her into salt water, which was the last oh, time well, I did it. Anyway, she came down, she hopped a little bit, but she was fine. Wow. I've got no steerable nose wheel, um, so she just would not turn with the wind on her tail, um, which is understandable, but I think I'm going to work on that one. See if I can build a um, fairly lightweight, strong business, a uh, strong one. It's here that you can hear the prop and um, that's what made me decide to have a, a look at it and I was pleased to find that when I uh, gave it a thrust test against some scales with the prop on backwards it was giving me a thrust of 800 grams with a prop on the right way round and flat out again which is what I did with the 800 gram test it doubled it and went up to 1.6 grams so 
lots more thrust so watch this space for the next video over and out